Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. My name is Quinn and I just got done installing this Vivo Over Fireplace TV mantle mount. As you can see, it is electric. This is meant to be a brief overview. I've got a much more detailed video and the actual installation of this mantle mount if you click in the card in the top right hand corner. So let's get started on this. We're gonna start with some of the limitations and then go over some of the dimensions that may help you with your project or your decision. Let's get started. All right, so some of the limitations. The first limitation might be your actual TV. This mount will only work with 37 inch to 70 inch TVs with a weight of 77 pounds or less. I'm working with a 65 inch TV, which is 40.5 pounds, so that works great. All right, the other limitation is the mount itself. I'm showing you a close-up of the template that they include with this mount and some of the dimensions I wrote on it. The widest the studs can be is 16 inches apart. So take a stud finder, figure out how wide your studs are behind the drywall. If you're going into block, that's not too big of a deal. Make sure you've got studs or block that allow for this mount. All right, the restrictions I had and that you need to also look at is how wide or how deep your mantle is. From the wall out, how far does it go? Mine goes about six and a half inches. You enter this table that I'm showing you right now, and it tells me that I need to be seven and seven eighths inches above the mantle. I've also got a Sonos bar that plays a little bit of a factor, but definitely the mantle and probably in your project, the mantle will be the limiting factor. All right, one of the other things that you need to look at is how far off the wall will your TV be when it is all the way up? The mount itself, the plate that you mount the TV onto is four and seven eighths inches from the wall, really five inches. When my TV is on here, it comes out to about nine and one quarter. All right, now let's move it down. It has moved from the top to the bottom approximately 20 inches. The bottom of my TV is 42 and three quarters inches from the ground, and it is 22 inches away from the wall. All right, I'm showing you a close up of how close the arm comes to my Sonos. Luckily, it doesn't hit it. That's why you need a little bit of a gap between your mount and whatever, maybe, whatever play bar you might be using. The other things I'm showing you is behind the TV, I've got an Apple TV, which conveniently sits between the mount and the TV. And this is proof that I'm not a professional installer. <laughs> it's a little messy about there, but nobody sees it. One of the really nice things about this mount is when it's all the way up and it's all the way down, you never see the mount, you never see the cords. The previous mount I had was a mono price. You can click in the top right hand corner up here for that video, but my mono price over fireplace TV mount, when it was all the way down, you could see the mount. This is such a much cleaner look, I really like it. Okay, <laughs> that sends it all the way up. Anyway, all right, that is a brief overview of this Vivo over fireplace TV mantle mount. I highly recommend it. This is not a sponsored video. If you want a lot more detail on this and to watch an install, click this video in the top right hand corner. Consider subscribing in the bottom right hand corner. And the link for this product and everything I used in my install is down in the description with some more of the details on this job. Thanks for watching this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.